Hello, it's time for another Emacs development update. I want to thank the organizers of Emacs Conf for putting this together, and also the maintainers of Emacs, with a special thanks to Eli Zaretsky. It's really he who gave me this information so that I could pass it along to you. So the main thing to discuss this time with regard to what's been going on with Emacs is Emacs 29. So the release cycle for Emacs 29 should begin in December when a branch will be cut and the release work will start. So we should be seeing Emacs 29 coming out fairly soon. So here's just a brief overview of some of the things to look forward to coming up in Emacs 29. So overlays have been re-implemented. If you haven't used them before, overlays are a way to apply a, uh, a set of properties over a range of text so that you can have things like uh, mouse clicks take on different behavior um, depending on where it happens in the text. This is different than text properties, which associate the properties with the text itself. Overlays do not alter the text uh, in any way, and they simply, as the name suggests, overlay on the buffer. Now, previously, overlays were implemented as linear lists, which got very slow when there were a lot of overlays in a buffer. Now they're being re-implemented as trees, so that searching should be very fast and, in fact, comparable to text properties. This is already on the master branch and more or less is ready for release. Eglot has been ported into Emacs. Eglot is an LSP client for Emacs, uh, one of the, the two that are often used, but now it's going to be included in core. So it's considered official and will be well integrated with other Emacs features. There's going to be a tree sitter library. So tree sitter is a way of building fast incremental parsers. Uh, there's a website on tree sitter if you google for that uh, this can be used for various features but first and foremost it'll be used for fontification and indentation in emacs so instead of heuristics and regular expressions you can now build your fontifications based on a parse tree there's a branch now that supports this for several modes already like python typescript and javascript uh, we don't have anyone yet working on it for C mode, but Ellie has challenged uh, whether anyone in the community is interested. He would love to see tree setter support added for C mode uh, because this has been quite slow when dealing with very, very large files and tree setter should help that. There have been significant improvements in dealing with very long lines. So this is something that has been a long time frequent complaint. Um, Emacs becomes rather unusable if you open a giant file that's a single long line. Uh, anyone who's ever tried to open a 30 megabyte JSON file that's all on one line will know, will know this pain. Um, some modes, however, will have to adapt to this change because sometimes access to the whole buffer is now forcefully restricted. So if the mode requires access to the entire buffer at all times to work, then the developer of that mode will need to devise some simplifications so that they don't require that complete access. So for example, if a mode used to go way back to the beginning of the buffer in order to determine if there's an unbalanced parenthesis, this won't work in the new long lines uh, support mode because the entire buffer is not always available. Emacs is sort of doing some uh, restricting of the buffer heuristically in order to keep the visible range uh, working very, very quickly now. Um, Emacs is now, can now build directly with SQLite. This means that SQLite, SQLite databases can be directly accessible from Emacs. Should be nice for anyone whose mode wants to uh, cache or store some queryable data. Um, the X input extension is now at version up to version two. There are many extensions in this spe specification. From the user's point of view, it enables things like smooth scrolling and touch devices. Emacs will now use this by default on all systems where the library is installed, and it should be on every modern system that uses X. Um, there's also a pure GTK build in Emacs 29, and the purpose of this is to allow Emacs on systems without X, uh, such as Wayland or Broadway, to be able to have a graphical build of Emacs. Um, there's also lots of improvements to drag and drop on X systems for people who um, like drag and drop. And uh, there's support for double buffering on Microsoft Windows. And um, for the last of the headline features coming for Emacs 29 is emoji input. So there will now be a prefix key, control X eight E for emoji input, uh, along with several new commands to insert emoji by various forms of shorthand. Uh, there will even be an input method where you can write the plain English names of emojis and have the symbol inserted. 
So that rounds out uh, some of the features coming up for Emacs 29. Sounds like an exciting release and it should be uh, headed your way soon. I hope everybody has fun at the conference and enjoy yourselves.